Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Brooko, um, and I'm going to do another SFM tutorial because I've, be I've done two already, they've done really well, but I think I didn't explain like as much as I could because I wasn't as good at SFM as I am now at the time, and I've learned so many new things that I want to share. Also, a lot of people commented like how to do certain stuff, even though I, I like covered over most of like half of it in the video. Just shows that some people don't watch the video all the way through and just too lazy and just ask. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover like most things that like I didn't discuss last time. And yeah, this is like my third time trying to record because I haven't like had things properly recording. Hopefully this goes well. Okay, so what you wanna do? Download Steam. Um, because it's the only way you're gonna get SFM. Go to the store. If it'll load. And yeah, so. Um, search up Source Filmmaker. I've already done this because I've past recordings. So search it up. Should just like find this Source Filmmaker. It's free if you want. Like just download it. It's free. And yeah, it will take like quite a bit to download. Depends on your internet connection and like your PC in general. If you have a good internet p um, connection and a good PC, it won't take long. But if you have a bad connection, it will take quite a while because it is a big program. So yeah, once you've downloaded it, you want to get some models first, because that's what we're here for. The FNAF models. So you want to go click here to workshop. Then you want to type up FNAF. You just click search. Stuff like this should come up. So here's just like some things you could download. You've got the hoaxes pack. Um, I, don't, I don't recommend downloading this. This is not accurate. <laughs> Try download accurate models if you want to like get like... Like if you want to do very well, or like, if you know what I mean. Um, download accurate models for best quality and stuff. So if you don't know like what models to get, or you want some recommendations, um, Super Shun Man made a video on the most accurate fan models. He recently uploaded it, and there's all links to all the models there, so you can just go watch that. And yeah, and come back to this once you've got your models. So if how about because. I had a lot of people asking me, oh, how, how do you do maps? I can bring in errors in maps. So, how you do maps? So, FNAF 2. Uh, where's the map I showed last time? I want to use it again because it's a very epic map. Where is it? Five Nights at... Can't type. Here it is. This is the one I used last time. I feel load. There we go. Um, this is the map I used last time in demonstration to download. Um, a lot of people were asking me, like, oh, you download the map, but all the props are errors. But the thing is, when you click download here, um, it will have pop up. You have, oh, you got to download all these, and this is what these are for. You have to download all of these as well, which won't take long. This won't take long at all. Um, you got to download all of these as well um, to get all the props and the map working and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just to download, the subscribe button, you just click that, and it downloads for you. So, I think that's everything for the models. Yeah. So, now you just want to launch this film. Launch. Now, it might take a bit to load once you've launched it, but for me, I'm just going to cut right until, like, it's opened. So, you... I'll see you guys when it's opened. Uh... Alright, we're back. It's opened now so what you want to do is um, you got this pop-up that comes up saying what you want to name your session frame rate and stuff so just name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it tutorial can't spell tutorial I've already made a session like this because the previous time so I just type anything after that then um, this is where you're gonna have your session saved you can change it if you want but I just personally keep it where it's normally saved to the default um, frame rate this is can this is really important because it's like how far like how many frames your animation goes at. Depending on what frames you choose, um that's how long it's gonna take to render. So I personally I go to sixty or thirty. Depending on what video it is. Um the minimum is I you should use is twenty four and the maximum is sixty. Never animate in twelve FPS or never animate in seventy two. Seventy two is just too many frames. It's too like it's the motion blur is crazy if you have it on, and um, 12 it looks like a stop motion animation, so we're just going to go with 30, 
and click create. And you this will just need to load. Might take a bit. I'll cut when it's loaded. Okay, okay. Here we go, it's loaded now. Um yeah, so now you, what, what you want to do is um, you have to load in the map. So you want to right click the screen, load map. For this, we're just going to use black void. So you search it up, use the search bot, even though it was already up. I'm just going to show you black void. Or if you want to use the FNAF 2 map, go ahead and use that. It's up to you. So you know what? I'm just going to use the FNAF 2 map and open. Now it will take a bit to load, but not that long. All so right, we're in. We're loaded. So it was like, wait, where's the map? You have to click enable lighting, and here you are. Um, now I'll just go here, switch to camera one, and here's the map. Um, turn off ambient occlusion if you ever low in PC, because this will reduce lag by a hell of a ton. But turn it back on when you're rendering though, because it looks so much better. So turn that off. Um, if you want the props, right click. And go to draw game entities and click other entities. And here you go, you have the props. So if you're wondering how I'm moving around the map, because a lot of people ask this, even though I clearly said in the video, in the other tutorial, tutorial video, I had a stroke there. Um, you have to click and hold the screen to look around and WASD to move. Shift to go for, like fast, Z to go up and X to go down. And I'm just saying, if you guys have any questions on how to do this, but I've covered them in the video, I am not going to answer them. But if I haven't covered them in the video, I'll most likely say I'll cover them in the next one, or um, I'll probably answer them. If it's like something I probably won't cover. So yeah, use the scroll wheel to zoom, like change the FOV, and WASD to move, mouse to look around, shift to um, speed up, Z to go up, and X to go down. So what we are going to do is create a poster. So yeah, this should be the map that you downloaded. So you know what? Time. We're just gonna make a quick Freddy poster. So just um, slowly in our model actually. Um, you wanna click this plus up here. Create animation set for new model. Um, then you're gonna wanna make sure you're on MDL files, so it goes to all your SFM files, and you're probably gonna want f for this to load. So because. I can't bother to wait, we're just going to do it now. So, we're going to use Withered Freddy. If you want to use someone else, completely fine. I'm just going to use Withered Freddy as an example. So, yeah, here's the model viewer. Here's where you get your models from. If you want to look at the model, you can just click and drag. Like in the thingy. And just like look around, see if it's the right model. And you can use the arrow keys to go down. Now, we're just going to find the model I want to use. Here it is, this should be it, yeah. So you found your model, you want to click open. Then here you go, your model's in, you, wow, you, 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 you loaded in your first model, congrats. That was probably very loud, I'm sorry guys. Um, yeah, so once it's in, this is, people ask me how to reposition models, even though I clearly went over it in the, literally two videos, literally the second videos on movement, and people are still asking that really angers me when people don't listen so right now you click control but you can't access the model because this is you're in the clip editor and you can't here it's just for um like editing your clips and stuff like for example if you want to make a new shot you do that i'll show you how to do a new shot in the next video right now we're not going to focus on that but if you want to we're like we're doing if you want to make a poster like we're about to do um, you want to, for the, like, reduced lag, you want to click the little thing. Like, you want to click this and drag it all the way here. Just like that. Oh, there we go. Then you want to do the same thing with this. You want to drag, click and drag all the way here. Oh, let me just zoom in. There we go. Um, yeah, so... That's how you do that. That's a clip editor. Um, this is the motion editor or graph editor. I don't know. I get these two confused. I should say in it. Yeah, motion editor. 
So this is like for positioning, if you don't want to animate, this is just for like posing and stuff. This is what you're going to be animating in, the, the graph editor. But we're not going to be animating today, we're just going to make a simple poster, because a lot of people ask me how to make posters. So, see, see, when you're in the clip editor, not the clip editor, sorry. When you're in the motion editor and the graph editor, you can hold control. You have to hold it. A lot of people ask me when they click control, it just flickers. You have to hold control. So you hold down control. Um, you click the bone you want to go to. So we're going to use the pelvis. Once that's clicked, you can let go of control. And you have these options. Different rotations. So you've got move. You've got this one, which I don't like using. Oh yeah, by the way, if you do something you don't want to, if you want to undo, Control z because there's no undo button, you have to use Control z um, And this is what I use for my movements, so I don't know what this does. It literally does nothing. It's useless. Pathetic. Okay. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually move this guy down. Back. And across. Just like that. And we're going to rotate him using this. Then we go out of the click, hold, move forward. Use this to change the scale. Go up. And yay. Then if we want to make a poster like this. Or like just find a position you want him to be in. Like the camera. Then you can position Freddy in another time or something. So yeah, um, I don't. What I'm going to teach you next is what I don't use, but you might find it more helpful. So if you want, you can go to the. You go up here, click Windows, go down to the secondary secondary viewport. So when that's there, you click this. This will load up. So you click this and drag it to whatever you want. I'm just going to drag it here below the animation set editor, and you click the three dots, click and hold, and drag. And then you just when it, if it's black you just click here and that will go. So now you have two screens. So for example, here you might be in the work camera, and that will be your main camera just looking at Freddy. So you can just do stuff outside the camera and like change some things, and like try and get the right position. So yeah, just what I said earlier: hold control, move, control, move. Hold control, move. Oh, by the way, when you hold control, when you click the thing, you don't have to hold it anymore, otherwise you'll just be stuck here. So move, control, move. Try and do slowly, so I don't confuse you guys. Control, move. So just reposition, get in a position you want it to. I recommend you lose um, use F low FOV because high FOV people I just see people like use it like this and it doesn't look good. I recommend like it depends what poster you're going for, but like um, try and go for a low FOV. So like like this. So you go to the work camera, go back here, control, rotate, control, rotate, and you want to find the jaw. Where's the jaw? Here it is. Click control. Rotate. Now for the eyes, this is going to be a pain. So if, like, for example, the eyes, they're all in one, like the eyelids and stuff. So you want to go to animation set editor, scroll down, just find the, find the eyes. Here you go. You can move them at once, but sometimes I'll do that. So you want to um, go here and unclick these. So there you go. So we're not going to do that. I want. Crap. I want. Oh! There we go. <laughs> I want this to be like this and the other eye to be drooping because it's Wibbered Freddy. He's cross eyed. He's disabled. Shouldn't have not made that joke. <laughs> so you want to use this. I personally use this for the eyes. And ye. So now um, we've got a poster. Also, I'll go over that in a minute. So we've got a poster. Now. Which you're going to want to do, I'm going to go over camera settings, because this is going to make the poster probably look like 10 times better. And lighting, of course we're going to do lighting. Um, we're going to go to camera 1, click this little arrow here, click that, 
then create animation set I'm gonna click that then you wanna wanna go up here and you got like a bunch of options here so focal distance and aperture the link so what I was talking about before FOV some people have it like all the way out which is I don't like it personally so yeah just keep it low not too low because you'd be like looking like this it'll be very hard to concentrate with so yeah just keep it like around the normal or just a bit less I say or a bit more depending on what you're making it's up to you but yeah that's just my opinion ignore my squeaky chair if you can <laughs> So focal distance and aperture, they work the same. Focal distance is like what that pink box you see here that pops up. That's what like all the focus is going to be on. So if you're focusing on a character, just like have it clip through them a little bit. Then aperture is like how much blur there is in the background. So if I click that, clip the clip, click the clip editor, it's how much blur there will be. So you see it is like blurred. I recommend you use it all the way. So the background is completely blurred and it's only focusing on the animatronic go here um, render settings turn back on ambient occlusion you know what? I'm just gonna keep it on for the rest of the video because I'm epic so e yeah, that's what it does ambient occlusion on off on off it just like highlights like more dark areas make it more smooth um however if your PC is like very low like very poor and you can't run this film that well you won't be able to use ambient occlusion at all, which is which is kind of suck. What kind of sucks, but you yeah, can't do anything about that. Turn map scale. I'll go over that when we do lighting. Bloom scale again. I'll go over when we do lighting. These three options is controlling the thingy, like how strong the ambient occlusion is. So if you want it this strong, it'll look like this. You can slide this all the way back as well. Um, personally, my old AO settings, I used to do this, slide this there, just find it just right. There you go, so it highlights, the shadows the whole thing. But personally, I don't do it anymore, I find it kind of strange. But, just do what you want, I'm just going to do this. So yeah. Uh, find it. There we go. All right, we got our AO settings done. Um, scroll down. Yeah, that's it, pretty much for camera settings. Now lighting. Wait, hold on. Before we do lighting, I need to go over something on the model. So if you right-click a model, you be set skin, and you can change it up. Uh, not all models have this, by the way. It's just like some certain models, depending if they have it or not. See, look, his eyes are glowing. Now his eyes are black. Or if you want to, like, um, like change it, like, individually. So you can go to his eyes, eye glows, change it there. That's what I'm going to do. So we got a half-decent looking poster. This is probably going to be one of the worst posters I've made because I'm not actually putting time and effort into this. I'm just making it for a tutorial. So, yeah. I will go over movement in the next video, but now we're just going to make a poster. So, what you want to do, go up here, the plus icon, where you load it in a model, you want to load in a light. And right now, you can't see the light, that's because you're, you have disabled lighting, so you want to go here, click this, what we had in the beginning, why we couldn't see, enable lighting, and now, we have our light, and you can't just move your light, like, like that, you got to click the light, what you have to do, click the light, and drag it to the viewport that you want to control it on. So now, you have com complete control over your elite. So just position it how you want. Um, I'm just gonna do a rim light. You can copy me if you want, but yeah, this is just how I do my lighting. So just a rim light here. Now, light settings. Um, so you've got the intensity, how bright your light is gonna be. Um, um, ambient intensity. What does that do? I have no clue. So don't mess with that. <laughs> it's not important. Um, horizontal FOV. It's just the FOV. So when you click and drag the light again, when you zoom out, that's just FOV. Um, radius, making your light look realistic. 
Because a lot of people have no, want no idea what radius does, but it just makes you like more realistic. Shadow filter size, um, just add shadows. I would recommend sliding this all the way down. Because it looks more sl sl sleek. Keep on having strokes. So yeah, um, min distance, max distance is like max distance it can go. I don't mess with these because I do this with volumetric lights, so I'll go over in a sec. Um, quadratic attenuation is just another intensity slider. So if, for example, you have intensity down like this. You can, where is it, where did it go, here it is. You can just slide it down more, or you can slide it up, whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it like this, and this. Um, uh, shadow depth bases, I don't know what, I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. Most of the things you won't need, because you probably won't know what they do. Fuzzy attend, so like, what it does, like if it's off going off a wall, it just, like, the light, you can just whatever, you know, you, you just see what it does here. You can make it go further, like how far the light reaches. So we're just gonna turn that down a little bit more. Um, volumetric intensity, I don't, um, that's for like volumetric lights, which I'll go over in a sec. Um, these, I don't know what does. The cut on, cut off, I have no clue. With, 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 I don't know what that does. So these, I don't, I have no clue what they do. But then you got your colors. So, yeah, just slide these around, get some colors. Mostly, if you want to make a blue light, do that. If you want to make like that kind of blue light, do that. Purple, slide that all the way. Or you just do this. Like, mess with these. Because, like, depending on the map, you can't just have, like, FNAF 3 and turn everything like, bluish and stuff. Well, you can, but, like, try and fit the atmosphere with your light. <sighs> Sorry, I was stretching. Like try and fit like the map, the am atmosphere of the map with your light. So FNAF 2, so it's like greyish, bluish. So I'm just gonna slide this like this. Um, if you want to make a red light, that's yellow. Slide the blue slider and green. Makes a red light. And I, d I don't know what this does, but yeah, just mess with your lights. So slide this like that. Go to light one. So yeah, that's just basic lights. So now we're gonna do this again. So we've got our first light. Gonna go up intensity. Light, light tool. Gonna want it like position it. Personally, I'm gonna put it there. Go over what you said. Try to filter size. Slide that down. Intensity, put that down. Radius. You can slide it all the way if you want. Um, colors, put that there, slide that down, now you've got like a half decent looking poster, this is just two lights by the way, um, yeah, then you want to get your third light, put it behind, this just I like add lights like whatever because you can make some nice lighting like this now gobo lights this is what people were asking me we're gonna do gobo lights then we're gonna do volumetric lights so what you want to do grab your light then you want to right click it set light gobo texture then there are gobo textures that you can download let me go to the workshop. Um, gobo texture. Yeah, here this this. This is the gobo light texture pack. Um, yeah, so you can use it for like you just like make the lights in different like thingy shapes. Um, I mostly just use this, the blinds and the flashlight. There is a flashlight one, yeah, this is the flashlight. Also the spiral, maybe. So, yeah, this is the pack, subscribe to it, and you get all these. So, once that's done, you click, um, tap with the gobo you want, so this is the blinds one. Click it, and click open. Now your light will have a gobo with a texture on it. 
then position this light. Jesus, this light is so bright, it's hurting my eyes. However you wanting. So I'm just gonna put it like this. There we go. Put a shadow filter size. I don't recommend putting radius and gobo lights, but it's up to you. Now that looks decent. <laughs> That's a decent looking poster. Not the best, but looks alright. Um, now volumetric lights. So these lights, they're just like fog lights. Mainly, they have like a fog to them, so this is what I'm going to use them for. Personally, I like pointing them at the camera to create this cool like glowing effect from the, a light. So. What you want to do, right click a light, go down to enable volume volumetrics, and yeah, you got a fog light. So yeah, what, um, what this does, what I said before, volumetric intensity, it just turns down the amount of fog on the light. Or you can control that with the intensity of the light. So I'm going to keep it like this, slide these sliders, um, do it like this, and then there we go. Um, then we just, now we're just gonna mess around with the lights, like just change the brightness and stuff of them. Now this poster is really looking spicy. Um, let's add a new light. Let's add another volumetric that's coming from his eye. Because a lot of people ask me in my posters, how do I make this glow effect? Is it like using um, what's it called like Photoshop or something? Which is no. I just do this in SFM, so you just get a light, point away like where you want it, so like glow from, point it at the camera, position it like this, then you add um, enable volumetrics, then turn that bad boy down. There you go, you got like a glow coming from your light. So I guess we're done with this poster then. Um, let me just do this, just like change some things and stuff. So yeah, we are finito with this poster. Doesn't look that bad. Let me just change some things. There we go. So now rendering stuff. A lot of people ask me how I render, even though I covered it in the video, the second tutorial video. So we're gonna click, so once you're done, click control save, cause you wanna save this, by the way. I forgot to tell you, but you want to save SFM like every 20 seconds because it will crash so much over stupid reason reasons. Or you can, instead of clicking Control Save, you just go up here, save like that. So once you're done with your poster or um, animation, pardon me, animation, um, you want to go here, file, go down to export. Even though we're making a poster, we don't click poster. We go to movie, export as movie. Then this pop up will appear. So, output path where you want this to render. I'm just going to do it in a normal rendering folder I have. Um, export. If it was a film, we will just keep it like this. And change it to 1080p and just export it like this. But no, we're making a poster. So, when it says export, go down to here. Image sequence. Then you're going to want to um, change here. To where it says duration custom. You want to change this to frames and just go to one. One frame. So then you want to click export movie, then it will just render out your poster. So you, yeah, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed, hope you find this tutorial useful, and yeah, I will see you guys later, goodbye everyone.